In this video, we are going to see how we can use SQLite with C Sharp. For that, let's create a new console application. Let's name it SQLite example. The first thing we need to do is to install the NuGet package that is needed for the, for SQLite to, to work with C Sharp. So it's going to be Microsoft Entity Framework for SQLite. Let's install the latest version. Okay, now let's create the entity class that is going to serve as a table for us. Let's name it person.cs and it's going to be very simple. So it will have an ID and name and then serve name. Now let's go ahead and create our data context. So it needs to derive from DB context. Now we want to override the onConfiguring method. And instead of calling the base on configuring, we will call options builder use SQLite. And here we, we're going to need to have a connection string. So for that, we will have data source equals, let's create a folder for that. So SQLite example. Let's copy the path. Post it here. So we will name our DB as SQLite so DB. Now let's make also sure that if the database doesn't exist. The, the application will take care of creating that. So we're going to have public data context. So we, we are basically creating the constructor. So this database, I'm sure created, will make sure that if the database doesn't exist, it will be created. And the last thing we need here is we're going to create our DB set, which is going to be Persons. Okay. And now it's enough to just create the data context and the, the database will be created. Let's compile and run it. Let's just run it. Now, as you can see, the SQLite DB was created. Uh, now let's see the, the content of it. So if we ask for tables, we will see that there's already a person's table. Obviously, there are no records. And if we also can uh, print the schema of persons. Yeah, as you can see, we have the ID, name, and surname. Let's go ahead and add one record there. So context persons 
add a new person we need to have only the name and surname and the ID will be auto incremented and then we need to save our changes let's try to build it and run one more time that should be it as you can see we have a new record that's it as simple as that